I just want, you know, um, you guys are going to be so tempted, you know, in any kind of matrix computation or anything like that, to just, uh, let me see if I can build a spawn up here. To just put this in a for loop, right? You have you have i k entries, right? Your matrix has i rows and k columns. And so, just because of the way you probably think about coding, you're just going to do like two for loops: for i equals one to whatever, for k equals one to whatever. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but in any interpreted language, and MATLAB is getting better because they use something called just-in-time compile. And in any interpreted languages, that this is going to be really slow. Any, anytime, you, anytime you you have to write a for loop in an interpreted language like MATLAB, it's, it's going to slow you down. You should stop. Anytime you write for, you should stop yourself and think, is there another way to, that I can do this same operation? Okay. And so, you know, we have to do a lot of finite differences here. And again, that may be something that you want to sort of you're tempted to do in a for loop. But I'm going to try to I'm going to try to show you another way to do it. Uh, it's, it's actually pretty simple. Um, so let's just say that I have uh, x is just a vector that goes from 0 to 10. Right? And the default MATLAB creates 100 entries. And so the, I need to know, if we go back to my, th this, the, the example here would be, say, say I'm going to discretize my fracture length, okay, and I need to know the corners and the centers, okay? So I'm, let's, let's say that I use this lens space operation to define the corners, right? So in this case, I have a fracture that goes from 0 to 10 and, and, and 100 entries. So there's 100 basically grid cells at that point. And I need to know what their centers are. Right. So I mean, what's, if I know the corner, What's, what's the center of this based on the corners, right? It's that point minus that other than, uh, it's, it's the, the average of that point and that point, right? So it's that point plus that one divided by two. And so, you know, what you're going to be tempted to do would be probably to write a for loop, right? You're going to say for i equals one, to 99, because there's, you know, if I have a hundred, if I have a hundred corners, then there's 99 cells, right? So I'm gonna go for, so I want to find the centroid of each cell. So I'm gonna go from one to 99, and I'm gonna say, you know, y, which we'll say is the centroid, is equal to x i plus one plus x i divided by 2, right? What Um, does everybody see what I do there? I mean, that's probably the way you'd do it, right? That's the way you would think to do it. Right? But what you could do in MATLAB, you could just say, if I start with the second entry of x, and take all values to the end. Right? So if I take, you know, if this point represents the first entry of x and that's the second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start there and take all values to the end. And I'm gonna subtract the vector that starts there with the first entry and takes all values to the end minus one. Right? So like this point. Um, and 
So, and then you know we're taking the average, so I'm going to add them together and divide by two. And it should be the same answer I got for y. So th those two operations are equivalent. One convenience is I did this in one line, right? This is just a one-liner. I didn't need to write a for loop. Because ultimately, you're going to put this in some script file. And you're not going to put the for loop on one line like I did. You're going to put it in three lines. Right? But this is just a one-liner, and it does the same operation. But I think more importantly, let's go back. Let's wrap this guy in TikTok. So you know TikTok is sort of a quick and dirty way to t profile or time your code. Oh, you define x. Not a huge difference, okay. And it's because this operation is so simple that MATLAB, this recent version of MATLAB, can just in time compile this, and, it, and it's faster. A few versions ago, like if you have an older version of MATLAB, this would have been like a hundred times slower than that. And so still, it's a tiny bit faster, right? But you know, and there's only a hundred entries. If, if we were, if we had a billion entries, then Let's see if I can make myself a liar. What's the syntax for len space if I want to add the number? So the default's 100. What if I wanted to make it 10,000? Do you know? Common 10,000? OK. What? Oh. Yeah, yeah. It got faster. How'd that happen? <laughs> well, still fast. My, my way is still faster. A little bit. I mean, I realize this is, we're talking like, one versus two microseconds, it's not a big deal, right? But if you had to make this call 100,000 times in your code, then you know all that, all that little savings adds up, okay? So uh, I thought we'd have time, but so next time, we'll basically just the whole class write code, okay? Um, so we'll just end there. But, but I'm gonna use operations like this, okay, when I write my code. So that's why I'm making be aware of it.